Hi, welcome to another installment in the Simbit video series. Today we're going to talk about the EVAL09, the Universal Energy Harvesting Kit. And we actually have a network of these kits laid out on the tabletop. We have various modalities of energy harvesting ranging from thermal to solar to electromagnetic to piezoelectric using vibrations. There's four of these nodes tied to wireless devices that come back to the PC that has an access point. So you see on the screen here, and we'll look at it in detail in a second, there's actually four nodes in the Zigbee network reporting back, in this case, temperature. So we've created an energy harvesting based wireless sensor network. Now what's really exciting about this is you can see that even though we have all these different modalities, it's the exact same energy harvesting eval kit that we're using to harness the energy from all the sources. Let's take a look at the card specifically here in close up. You see over here on the input stage we have a number of different inputs depending upon the transducer type. Energy harvesting transducers of course one of the challenges is that some of them are variable impedance like solar or constant impedance like piezo or thermal. They also have a wide range of voltage and current inputs and power inputs. The cool thing about this card is it takes all of these inputs through the card into the same set of electronics and let me walk you through that now. So up here we have a DC input so this is below 4.1 volts along with an AC input that would be below 4.1 volts rectified. We also then have a high voltage DC input that's above 4.1 volts and also two AC inputs primarily used for piezoelectric devices. We go through some small conversion electronics to the heart of this board which is the Enerchip EP energy processor. The CBC915 device takes any of these inputs, converts the energy, then controls and stores that energy in the energy chip. And over here we have a module with two 50 microamp hour energy chips, two CBC 050s, on this little module. And then over here on the far side of the board we have a connector for the Texas Instruments EZ430 RF2500 wireless kit. That plugs into that little connector there. Or we have a number of pins here that you can tie directly to to use this as an energy harvesting power supply. The board is very developer friendly. We've got a lot of places for banana clip leads, for test points. It's a really easy way to bring up uh, an experiment with energy harvesting. But the key here is same board, all these different inputs. So let's look at each of those in turn. This first one up here is the solar energy harvesting. This comes with a solar cell that's in the EVAL09 kit. So you have a complete system when you come out of the box. It's tied in to the DC input, comes through some small electronics here to the energy processor, the energy processor charging the energy chips and delivering power to the sensor over here on the right hand side. Now what's really powerful about this is the energy processor is responsible for some very advanced maximum peak power tracking algorithms that tracks the power coming in from the transducer. It then also is in charge of getting as we walk through the states as this board comes up of charging the boost capacitor that's used to boost the radio and then it also charges the energy chips. Once it's through those states the, the whole card is in regulation. What's also interesting is the energy processor knows what's going on with all the different energy states coming in from the transducer, state of the energy chip, it communicates with the MSP430 so the entire system is energy aware. Another example over here is electromagnetic radiation. We have a little wind turbine with a basically magnet and coil set up that is now coming in on the AC input through the electronics, through the energy processor, and the same setup as we saw with solar. Over here we have an example of thermal. So here we have a micro pelt thermoelectric generator. Uh, other folks such as Nextstream make, uh, make nice TIGs and there's a number of manufacturers, Marlowe, etc., that, that do thermoelectric generators. If you, if you give Simpit a call, we can help you work through the various ecosystem partners. Here we're coming again back in on the DC input through the minimal conversion electronics into the EP and through the rest of the system. And then lastly over here, we have piezoelectric transducer harnessing vibration off of this fishbone motor. 
This particular one is from Advanced Aerometrics. You can also get them from Midday and others. So we can actually harness the vibrational energy coming off of, of the vibrating source. Here we're coming into the AC inputs through the rectification energy processor, the rest of the system. So you can see the exact same card using all these different inputs. Let's take a look now over here on the screen and look at the network. You see what's represented here are different colored bubbles. And each of those represent the different transducer type. The yellow is the solar, the green is the piezoelectric, the purple is the thermoelectric generator, and the light blue down here is the electromagnetic generator. So here we see represented all the different modalities. The bubble in the center is the access point, so they're all reporting in to the radio here that's plugged into the PC. Let's home in a little bit on one of the bubbles directly, and you'll see some of the unique features that the EVAL09 gives you. You can see here that we're reporting temperature. So this is a wireless uh, temperature sensor network. It's uh, 66.9 degrees in here uh, in good Minnesota fashion. We're uh, saving energy and uh, it's chilly, but we're tough. We can deal with it. The next thing here is the, uh, the number of the node. This happens to be number three. And then the actual power. Because the energy processor knows what's going on, it can actually report back the fact that there's 326 microwatts coming off the transducer through the system. The state it's in is four. Again, we talked earlier about the four states that the energy harvesting card can be in. And right now, everything's in regulation, so it's up and running in state four. Ten seconds is the reporting interval. And lastly, the inner chip is at 100% charge. So you have all that information now coming from your energy harvesting node. And the reason we can do that is because we've got an energy processor on the card trapping and reporting all that information and coordinating all the energy management functions on the card. Now, if we go ahead and let's just stop the, uh, the rotating windmill here for a second, we'll show you an example of how then the card that's tied to that should be driven off the inner chips. When the transducer stops, the inner chips take over and the solid state batteries, they're rechargeable thousands and thousands of times, will actually go ahead and then uh, be able to charge the card. And you can see the bubble's gone dark blue now, and we're also counting down the number of cycles. Again, the energy processor, knowing that it's on batteries, has shut completely down and told the MSP430 its condition and the state of the energy coming across the card. So now the MSP430 is counting down about 400 cycles, and uh, what we can do is control that and make it energy aware, meaning the MSP could maybe decide to uh, lengthen the reporting intervals and manage the energy. I'll let that windmill turn again, and we should see this bubble come back uh, with the energy harvester now harvesting the, uh, the wind, if you will, on the EM transducer. So again, the GUI and the code comes in the kit, and you can get these energy harvesting kits at any of our distributors. You get it at DigiKey, Mauser, or Avnet. All the information, the data sheet for the EVAL09 and the data sheet for the energy processor, the CBC915, are also on Sibit.com, as are some extra white papers concerning building zero power wireless sensors and using embedded energy that the inner chips can give you. But if you have any questions, feel free to call us at any time. You can either contact us through Sibit.com or call our main phone number. Get connected to our apps team that can answer any of your questions. We look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.